Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I'm parked outside of Walmart. I have a couple of things I need to grab. Nick is home with Claire. It is Saturday. It just snowed overnight, but now the sun is beaming and all the snow is gone. So I figured I would come out, grab a couple of things at Walmart. Um, my bronzer is really like, I feel like my makeup looks nice today. I don't have any foundation on or anything. I've just been doing like mascara, eyebrows, and some bronzer on my cheeks. That's been like my go-to makeup lately. It's super easy. Um, surprisingly, my dark circles aren't too bad, but you know, um, mom life with the lack of sleep lately. Anyway, um, I have a couple of errands I wanna run today. I figured I'd take you along with me. There's a couple things I want to grab at Walmart. I need to look for um, two large lampshades for our bedroom lamps. I need two doorknobs. I'm trying to like finish our upstairs because we've just been slacking on it for so long. So um, to get the matching doorknobs that match the rest of our house. They're at Walmart, super cheap at Walmart to get them there. So I need those. I have to go to Home Depot. I wanna get a can of my favorite like trim and door paint enamel. Um, I wanna stop in Kirkland's and get this cow print to go above our bed. We'll see if I make it there. And then um, Nick wants me to run and shop right and grab lunch meat and bread and American cheese. So that's the plan. I better stop jibber jabbering so I can bust a move, get back home. I just want to be like cozy at home, but I knew I had a couple of errands to run because I'm off this weekend. So I figured I'd take you along with me. So let's go inside Walmart. I'm sure it's insanity in here. <laughs> let's get a move on. Oh my god, this is so cute for Claire. My first Easter basket set. Oh my god. No, I don't need that. Why are lampshades $20 each? I need them, so. I've also been wanting a rug for our room and I feel like this was a return from online. But this looks exactly like the rug I've been wanting. There's no barcode, so I'm gonna ask. And then these are the doorknobs that we buy, but I don't need, it's a lock. I just need a hall and closet, but I only see bed and bath. Because one is for Claire's door, and I don't want her to lock it. <laughs> hmm. Unless we just get it, and I can switch it out later with, like, a closet one that doesn't have a key or a lock, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to get them for now. And then this rug doesn't have a barcode, so maybe it'll be like on major sale. We'll see. Okay. I am so excited. I got that rug. It was a return from online and they couldn't find it online. Um, So she was like, I'll just give it to you for $47 or something. Um, and then I was able to look it up. Oh my gosh, this is a $140 rug. So that's gonna look so nice in our room. Finally, like our room is like an adult bedroom. We got um, a new bed frame that we've been wanting for literally like three years. So 
I'm so excited to have like an adult bedroom set. I'll show you when we get home, I'll put the rug down. And then if I run over to Kirkland's, we'll hang our sign together today. So let's run to Home Depot and ShopRite and then possibly Kirkland's. So let's go get to the necessities. for all of the spring vibes, you know? It's cute. I like this one. I'm getting my paint mixed, just shaken up, because I'm sure it's been on the shelf for a little while. And... And remembered we needed a new smoke alarm for Claire's room, so getting a lot of necessities. I probably should have worn a coat today. Oh, oh my god, it's cold. We desperately needed dryer sheets. I did not want to buy them here, but because they're more expensive at Home Depot, but I needed them. This is the best, um, like cabinet door trim enamel literally the best and then I got that little flag and some stir sticks oh my god it is so bitter out all right ShopRite is in the same complex so we're gonna run over there really quick and get some goodies. Maybe I'll grab like a little dessert for Nick and I. I need to cook dinner tonight and use like leftovers that we have, but I don't feel like it, but honestly, I need to. So, I guess I'm gonna go home and cook, even though I'm so tempted to just like grab something really easy. have not been in the mood to cook ever since I went back to work. I was like Betty Crocker on maternity leave, obviously, because sorry about the ginger ale can rolling around in my car. Um, obviously because I had nothing else to do and I had no priorities except for my baby. Now I'm working 12 hour shifts and yeah, I'm just annoyed with cooking and the mess <laughs> that in that comes with it and all of the things. Y'all know, you, you moms know, it's a lot to balance being a working mom, but I will have some good news to hopefully share with you very soon. It's a little, a little hint at my job change. <laughs> bags. <laughs> the number one reason I came here was for um, soup dumplings. They come in like a little six set of dumplings and you can't find them anywhere around here and I'm sad. Got some goodies from ShopRite. I will show you when I get home just some really basic things. I'm losing daylight, but I want to just run into Kirkland's and then that'll be it and I'm gonna go home. Hopefully they're still open. I feel like they close early, like six or something. Let me see. Okay, they don't close till eight, so we're gonna head there now. So you guys know, I am always hunting for a bargain and this is cute. Um, Gabe's is in the same complex as 
Kirkland's and I feel like I remember seeing a cow print in here. So if it is in here, it would cost probably a quarter of the price. So I'm gonna peek around in here just in case. That way I know I tried because the one at Kirkland's is a little pricey. I do not want Marilyn Monroe or cactuses. This is a cow print, but this is small and not really what I'm looking for. This is cute. Yeah, they do have some cow prints, but just not what I'm looking for. And every time I come in here, I look at this mirror and I wonder, oh my God, I wonder if I should just grab it and make it a mess. I'm thinking I want this for above my pie cabinet, but it's a little damaged here. Maybe they'll take a little off. Okay. This sign is even cuter in person. Oh, he's so cute. Love him. And um, he's coming home with me, so let's go, buddy. All right. I've secured my Moo Moo, my little cow print. And I called Nick and I was like, Nick, it's already like six o'clock. I was like, I'm not cooking. What do you want? And we both agreed. And we both agreed on Popeyes. And um, this is why I can't lose the baby weight. <laughs> the most important purchase of the day. Popeyes chicken. Popeyes. <laughs> hey, did you clean the kitchen? Whoa. Ex service. <laughs> Ex of service. I'm dead. I'm going to quickly show you what I got at ShopRite and then we're going to grub on our Popeyes. So this is a surprise from the bakery for Nick and I for dessert. Like we need them after we eat Popeyes. <laughs> All right, really quick. Let me put you on my phone stand. And then I will show you what I got. We're going to eat and then... I'm gonna decorate a little bit. I'm actually very excited about some of my finds. Um, yeah. I got some disinfectant wipes. We're just gonna rattle this off real quick. Sharp cheddar, white cheddar. We just always use cheeses throughout the week. Um, these candied sweet potatoes, my mom made these for a quick dinner one night and they are so good. So I picked them up, they're in the freezer section. Pasta. This is for like soups. I want to make a mac and cheese with cavatappi and then some rigatoni or sorry ziti. Rig yeah, no ziti. And then we drink so much more water when we buy these. This was the first time I ever bought this brand. I've never seen this, but this has no artificial like sweeteners and no like red dye and stuff. So I picked this one up. And then unfortunately the Mio has red dye 40 in it, but Nick wanted fruit punch. So you win some, you lose some. Okay, um, done with that. <laughs> Next I got lunch meat and cheese. We got ham, Cooper Sharp American, and some rolls for sandwiches. Don't look at my fridge. It's a nightmare in here. Um, we're just throwing stuff. I'm hungry. And then um, Nick loves this nacho cheese dip and they never have it in stock. So I picked that up for him just to, yeah. <laughs> I never have this. He likes to like put this on his lunches and stuff, like on rice and stuff like that. And then I got salsa con queso. We like this with tortilla chips. And then the last thing I got was a rotisserie chicken just for easy dinner, maybe tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, chicken, yeah. 
Claire's chatting. Um, we will use this as like a meal and then I will use the carcass and make bone broth. So it was $8, but I get multiple meals out of it. So it's worth it for me. And all of that was $65. Like what did I even buy? Okay, time for Popeyes. Check in soon. So I did end up grabbing this mirror at Gabe's and I'm gonna put it up here on my pie safe. So I'm gonna do that with you real quick. It needs to be dusted and stuff, but I just wanna see like the vibe of what it's gonna look like. And then with like some cute stuff in front of it. I feel like it could be cute. I'm gonna live with it and see how I feel. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Do we like it? I don't know. So I have never once filmed a video in our bedroom because we always had mismatched furniture for the longest time. I just never felt, hi. I never felt um, like proud of this room or like it was worth decorating or sharing but over the last six years literally it's taken us six years of saving and buying pieces from this set here and there we actually got the two dressers on Facebook marketplace if you've been around that long I shared us finding those I'm out of breath from carrying things up and down the stairs <laughs> but um yeah I are you listening to me you see yourself <laughs> I um I got the dressers on Facebook Marketplace and then we finally have the matching bed frame and the nightstands and I just feel like this looks like such an adult bedroom now. We had like a metal bed frame before and it was just not cute, honestly. It wasn't cute up here at all. So um, I made this hiring sign. This is our last name. I made this off of like a Pinterest picture I saw and it's okay. Like it's not my favorite DIY. It looks nice from a distance, but close up it's like, Meh. so that's why I got that cow print. Charles is loving the new bed, but that is why I got that cow print. I want to hang that up tonight. If Claire is, uh, willing to be nice and um these are the hooks that i found at gabe's they were 5.99 you probably couldn't even get this at goodwill for that cheap and i have a peg rack that i was going to diy and all of this stuff but honestly i couldn't even diy something for 5.99 so this is going to go on the wall right here next to our mirror this is our um, master closet, which is very small, but um, yeah, we have a mirror right here, an arched black mirror, and we just need more storage. Um, yeah, hoodies and hats don't look cute hanging from the walls, but I am just more about our room being functional and keeping things off the ground, hanging a robe when you need it. I just need that kind of storage in my life, so. This can go right up here. I think it's gonna look real cute and match our furniture and the vibe in here pretty well. So we'll get that hung up. And our new um, sign hung up. And then I'm gonna show you the lamps too. I got lampshades today like I shared with you at Walmart. <laughs> Are you fascinated? Let me go grab the lamps that I'm gonna change these black ones out for. So I have had these lamps for a long time now, probably a couple of years, and Nick is singing downstairs. Um, I've had these for a couple of years. They used to be in my living room, but one of them broke and I was so devastated because these were like a really sought after lamp from Target. And I think they're gorgeous. I love them. And somebody that I know was selling just one on Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. So I picked that up from her recently. 
it's downstairs, but it's the identical match to this one. So these are much more, actually they might be the same exact height. Uh, they're a little bit taller, but I just like that lamp way better. I like the brown. Um, and I got like more larger lamp shades just to make it more of a statement over there because it is such a big wall and we have high ceilings in here. So I just want to make it look like a little more of a statement piece over there. So that is the plan for the bedroom. I'm excited to finally share a little bit of uh, content up here. And one thing I want to share with you guys that has been such a life-changing hack for us. It's not really like some grand idea, but I like some little throw pillows on our bed, but we are human. Like we don't sleep with all of them and they just end up all over the floor. But we got these two really large baskets from Target on clearance a long time ago. And I keep them on top of my dresser. It isn't the cutest thing if I'm being honest, but I keep it up on my dresser like that. And that's where we throw our pillows at night. Um, when we go to sleep, we just pop them in there. And then when I wanna make the bed, pull them out of the baskets because otherwise they end up on the floor covered in cat and dog hair and it's just such a mess. So yeah, little life hack. It's not the cutest thing, but it keeps like the pillows free from dog hair, right? <laughs> So I'll probably put a time lapse up and um, start hanging up this beautiful cow print. I am so excited about it. So excited, yay! So, so excited! Yay, yay, yay! Yay, yay, yay! Yay! <laughs> This little girl is gonna go down for bed and then I'll switch out the lamps and then that'll be the end of this video. She is miserable. Say goodnight. Say goodnight, I'm kinda grumpy tonight. I did not nap very good today. Ow. <laughs> down to get the other lamp that I got on Facebook Marketplace. I forgot I got the rug. <laughs> so I got such a good deal on that rug. I'm so excited. All right. Let me put the baby monitor on. Claire's asleep for probably 30 minutes. <laughs> there she is. She's doing so good in her crib. I feel like things are definitely bigger than this, right? Oh yeah, much bigger. Cool. Okay, let's switch these up. The bed's already a mess. Y'all, this is real life. Our bedroom is always a mess. People that have Pinterest-worthy bedrooms are not real. Because my bedroom always has laundry everywhere. Like, no. Gorgeous. I'm gonna scan this. <laughs>
This rug is gorgeous. Okay, we recorded none of that. Did we really? It's okay. There's the rug, Maggie's bed, and my tripod are in the way, but this looks so good. Oh my god, I feel like we have an adult bedroom. This has been six years in the making. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so excited! <laughs> Here's the lamps. I'm gonna pull this plastic off. Here is my cow. And honestly, this is the other side of the room. It's a mess right now. Nick's got on some hockey, but these are the two pieces we scored on Facebook Marketplace for like thousands, thousands of dollars cheaper than what they were on Raymore and Flanagan and Ashley Furniture. But this is our little setup over here. Yeah, it's been a long time coming and I'm so proud. I feel like really proud that we I've worked hard for this space, you know? And I am obsessed with this rug. <laughs> what a score. It probably could have used like a more grand rug, but honestly, I don't need any more rugs to vacuum. So this is perfect. All right, guys, today's video was very impromptu and spur of the moment. I just decided, I was like, Nick, I'm gonna run to a couple stores can you watch Claire? He was like, absolutely. I got ready and I was like, you know what? Let me film it as well. So hopefully you enjoyed coming along with me. I am thrilled about my finds today. And tomorrow I'm gonna use my new enamel and finish painting the doors upstairs. Just get a couple of things done that I've been needing to tackle. I've just had that like motivation, so. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me this evening and seeing my new uh, finds and our bedroom for the first time, honestly, in all of my YouTube channel, I think. I don't think I've ever shared this space. So thanks for being here and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.